We are Elian Senci and this is what 10 euros gets you in Sarajevo, Bosnia. Today we're going to see if we can eat good and explore Sarajevo for only 10 euros, which is equivalent to 20 bomb or KM in the local currency. And to add a special twist on it, we're each only getting 20 bomb for the day. At the end of the day, we're going to see who has the overall lower cost. Bring it on, Senci. Thank you. Since it's morning here in Bosnia, first thing you have to do is find a bakery for breakfast, also known as pekara, because most of the Bosnian people are eating from bakery. It is absolutely amazing things there and it's so cheap. I don't want to explain you too much, you have to see it for yourself, but that's our first thing on the list. Find some nice bakery and have a breakfast. I think this is the one. We're gonna go in and get some things. This is the spinach one, this is mm -hmm. the cheese one. You can't put it in a small one. You can't put it in a small one. Okay, you can put it in a small one. Okay, you We are on the same budget. 170 each for two little pies. We're gonna find a nice place and enjoy them. Okay, we found a nice spot to eat at, right by the Milyatska River and and she got sernica, which is a cheese pie. I opted for the spinach pie, which is called... Zelanica. 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 I feel like I'm saying it right. <laughs> it is Zelanica. Zelanica. These are both delicious. There's also klempirusha, which is an option, which is a potato pie, and burek, which is the meat pie. All of them are amazing, and you need to try them all when you're in Bosnia. But I have to say, Bosnia is most well-known for its burek. It's so good. Do not skip on it. And again, these are so cheap. So a perfect little snack for breakfast and we're just gonna be feasting all day so and we're doing grab yogurt because we really want to ball out later we usually have this always with yogurt but we are saving ourselves for some chevapi later which is uh -huh. the most traditional dish in bosnia oh it's so good though it's really good mm. bosnian food is unmatched truly mm. Oh, this is so good. I love Sarajevo already. And an interesting historical fact is that right behind us is the Latin Bridge, also known as the Princip Bridge. This is the site of where Archduke Franz Ferdinand was assassinated in 1914, which was the beginning of World War I. A lot of history in Sarajevo, and we're casually sitting on the steps of it, having a pie. But the pies are done, so we are in hunt for some coffee now. When in Bosnia, do as the Bosnians do. We are slowly progressing inside of Bascharsia. We're not very optimistic of finding some cheap prices there, but we're gonna look around and try to find some coffee place, which is very nice. Okay, after 20 minutes of searching, we found some back alley in central Bascharsia with some reasonable prices, I would say. Usually coffees on Bascharsia are four, four fifty km and we found one for three and it is the real Bosanska Kappa so we opted for this we are literally in some back street no music nothing but again we're on a budget so we have to okay Ali just as I taught you how do you drink it we're gonna start with scraping off the top here because there's some grounds. Exactly. Put, put them in so they're at the bottom. So you're not drinking that. That is actually the foam. This is foam? Yeah, that actually is foam. She always put oh, okay. like a cream part. Okay, and then you take the Jezba. This is called a Jezba. Oh, it has Sarajevo the Sebio. It's for red. Then you pour it in. Okay, it's been sitting down for four or five minutes. What now, Ellie? Now we take the kotske, which is just a little sugar cube, and it seems weird, but it's really pleasant. You dip it in, take a little bite, and then balance it with. Mm. With a sip of the Bosanska Kaffa, Bosnian coffee, and it comes all together in your mouth. I see a lot of people stirring in the sugar, not how you're supposed to do it. And saying they don't like it because there is much grounds, because you have to let them sit down and then you drink the coffee. Mm -hmm. And then they're down. 
Hmm. Okay, I just finished mine. And as you can tell, all the grounds stuck to the bottom. Okay, we just finished with our coffee. They were right there. And this is the alley I'm talking about. And I'm gonna show you, literally, we are in the center of Bascharsia. Crazy. In the square right here, the coffees go for around four or five km, but we got one for three km. Right now, we're gonna find some local market to get some juice and water to hydrate because the juices in coffee shops around here are four or five km and we can get it for a one km. So, we're gonna hydrate and search for some Cheva later. So, stay tuned to see if we can find a deal on that. Okay, got a juice and water for 195. And since she officially takes the lead, mine was one km ten cents, ten penning, mm -hmm. and his was eighty-five penning. Okay, today we're trying to cross off all of Bosnia's greatest hits, and that wouldn't be complete without the national dish of Bosnia, chevap, chevapi. It is so good, so now we're on the hunt to get some. And as always in Bosnia, it's pretty cheap too. Hello. Oh my god. 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 I nailed that. <laughs> I've practiced so so long, you have no idea. <laughs> she was literally sitting here for five minutes just repeating the same thing. But all in all we ordered five piece chevapi in the whole lepinha, which is like a flat bread with some onion and elegant kaimak, which is like a creamy cheese, and I got the same just instead of kaimak, I got the yogurt. Okay Ali. Okay. What do we have there? What we have here is the most exciting thing when you come and visit Bosnia. This is the almighty chevapi. So this is the lepinja, lepinja, and it's so fluffy, airy, there's bubbles, and it's grilled in the juice of the chevap, so it has like a charred grill flavor on it. It's so good, it's, it's moist, it's everything. Inside I have a huge dollop of Kaimak, and then right here is the chevap. It's so good. It's minced beef and sometimes lamb and little like sausage links, and it's just amazing. Let's see how it is. Okay. Let's see. How do we. Do you want to go to the What? Put it down. Let's start. Let's You take a bite, you take a small piece of. Lepinha. Okay. Just like that. Then you take a bite of lepinha. Bite? Yeah. And then you have a bite of chava. Mm. Oh my god, it's already so good. Mm. Exactly. That's mm. it. That's how you eat chava. Can't make a sandwich of it. Oh my god. Hola, mm. Hudra. I'm in heaven. You never ever make sandwich from that. You always take a bite of this, bite of that, and then... That is the Bosnian way of eating, like a little bite of this, keep it in the mouth, a little bite of that. That is the, the only way. Just... Speaking from someone who ate thousands of these, that is the only way. This is seriously amazing. Okay, the moment of truth and the price of this meal was at least 7 km and for me only 5 because they did forget yogurt, so maybe it's it was destiny for something later, so I won't play with that, so that is it. At least seven, for me five. Okay, we just finished our chivapi and now we are walking around, wandering the beautiful little alleys of Bashartia, which is the old town in Sarajevo. And it's honestly a really nice free activity to do. Some souvenirs are expensive here, but window shopping is absolutely free. Behind me it says Sarajevo is where the east meets the west and it's very true because we're leaving the Turkish Basharshia Old Town and heading into the area of town that has 
Austro-Hungarian, European style buildings. Also really beautiful and historic. This area is a bit more normal shopping, not souvenir shopping, but clothes and boutique shops and things like that. Also not the cheapest priced but really nice. Well, we had a great time exploring Basharshia. As you can see, Sarajevo is stunning and has so much history to offer. And now, again, we are living like the locals today, so we're stopping for another coffee. And we noticed just outside of Basharshia, the second you stepped outside of the old town, everything is half the price. So we sat here and we're gonna have two small coffees. And I actually got baklava as well excited to try that because that is another bosnian delicacy and here it was only two km whereas in the old town again it was i think five km so again half the price know that before you go we got something very special for the end and i think after chevapi it's the best activity for the day literally it's low cost even free if you wish but yeah, we'll, we'll tell you more in a second. Here is the things we got, two coffees and a small piece of baklava. Which came to total of at least five and for me only coffee to 50. How do you feel with your low budget, Ellie? We're getting tight though, we're getting tight. But we're at least really enjoying ourselves today in Sarajevo. I'm gonna try this baklava. That is the walnut and mm. you can also get the pistachio and the chocolate. Ooh, and this is schlagom. This Schlag. Is, Schlag, this is cream. The cream is so good. And of course, the baklava is divine. Mm. Hey. I also really appreciate Bosnia because they bring glasses of water with every coffee. If you've been anywhere else in Western Europe, you know this is not a right, and instead, it's a privilege. So it's very nice you don't have to ask for it they just bring it and again everything is drinkable here and so good there's so many other things you can do in Sarajevo as well there's so many museums you can go to the old Olympic Stadium you can go up to Mount Trebovic 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 you can take a cable car up there but it's late afternoon here for us so we have one last activity for you and it is a highlight of Sarajevo. It's a hidden gem and absolutely cannot be missed. Some of the best views we've ever seen in the world. So let's see. The last activity for today is Yellow Bastion. That is the best viewpoint in Sarajevo. We were there last year and we witnessed the most magnificent sunset in our lives. After a long day, we really wanted a beer, but Bascharsia prices for a beer are going from all the way from 5 km to 7 km in the center and around. Instead of that, we opted for some shop beers. Yes. Sarajevsko and Bosansko Svetlo Pivo. Those are all really nice local beers. And right now we are heading up to the Yellow Bastion. That's completely free. The beers were total 230 km. Mine was 1 km and Ellie's was 1 30 km. If you're in Bashtarshia, going to Yellow Bastion is a bit uphill, but trust me, on a summer day, sunny day, the sunsets are amazing. We're gonna show you how it looks right now. It's not so promising, but hopefully, if you're in Sarajevo and around and it's sunny, you will have amazing time. And we made it to the top of what is normally the best view in Sarajevo. As you can see, the weather is nasty, but you still have the whole city behind you. At night, it's all lit up. During the sunset, the whole sky is lit up. It's normally really amazing, but again, as you can see, it's literally about to storm. So this just goes to show the lengths that we go to for you guys. But drum roll, please. The moment of truth. How much did we spend on the bet today? I think we all saw that coming. I spent 19 km and 10 fenning with 90 fenning left. So again, it's still possible, even for me, a big spender, to only go with 10 euros for the day in Sarajevo. Senshi spent much less. Again, it's totally possible, totally cool. Sarajevo is amazing, it's so cheap. You should come here and come here when it's better, better weather and go to the Yellow Bastion. It's beautiful normally, but it's not right now, so we're gonna go home and we'll see you guys next time. Bye, thanks for being with us. <laughs>